Hey Sienna. Hey Lizzie. Are you ready to talk about Riding Academy Season 1? You bet I am. I'm so excited. Yay! Episode 1, Home is Where the Herd Is. Governor is really, really misbehaving. He can't make that jump. Oh no! <laughs> Governor! And he has fallen onto a rock. But luckily, the pals saved him just in time. So, the pals are trying to train him, but it's really hard. <laughs> Governor! <laughs> Snip tries to help, and so does Maricela, but they both fail. So, they try to bring Governor to the herd, but the herd won't accept him. <laughs> But then a mountain lion shows up. The same mountain lion that killed Governor's mom. <laughs> and he saves Smokey from the mountain lion. When Governor stands up to the mountain lion to protect the herd, the herd finally accepts him. Governor then runs off with his new herd. And then that's the episode. Episode two, the festival of festivals. This episode starts with the pals getting into the riding academy. They were all accepted and they're so excited. Prue, Lucky, and Abigail are all getting ready to leave for Palomino Bluffs. And Prue realizes that they'll be missing the Spring Bloom Festival. I just realized that with us going to school at the beginning of the year, we're going to miss the Spring Bloom Festival. So Lucky decides to put on a festival of festivals. Lucky was originally planning to just do the Spring Bloom Festival, but then she went to Winthrop and Winthrop was like, oh yeah, and they'll also miss Founders Day. Founders Day! I didn't even think about the fact we'd be missing Founders Day too. Her and Abigail are gonna be so upset when they realize they're missing the fireworks and the cake walk and the parade. And on her way to getting decorations and everything for those two events, these other people throughout the town are reminding her of all of these other things that they're going to miss. So she ends up trying to recreate every single one of these events for Prue and Abigail. But you know how that turns out. Lucky, what happened? Did an earthquake hit? And also a tornado. Lucky is really sad that she didn't make it look that nice. So she rides off with Spirit, but then Prue and Abigail have an idea. They want to recreate every single one of the events from that Lucky and them are going to miss. But unlike Lucky, who tried to do it on her own, they are going to do it with the help of the entire town. Welcome to Miradero's Festival of Festivals. Wow! A little bit of every Miradero tradition celebrated all on the same night. <laughs> now pals are ready to move on and go to the Riding Academy. And that's the episode. Episode three, Palomino Bluffs Riding Academy. So the girls are at the Riding Academy and they are super excited. Prue and Abigail really want to make a good impression, and they both want to make an impression in their own ways, while Lucky is already really popular, and she's known as the girl with the wild horse. Everyone's been talking about you. Guess that's the kind of reputation it takes to get special treatment around here. I can't even get the school to fix Dusty's broken stall door. One kid does not like her, named Jack. He doesn't like Lucky because she, he's get, she's getting special treatment. But then the stories about Lucky are spreading and not all of them are true. So then the boy named Jack is thinking she's a liar. Even the stallions are buying into this girl's stories? How much special treatment can a new kid get? So Jack challenged her to a race on the beach to see who was fastest, Dusty or Spirit. They're racing. But then Spirit stops because there's something wrong. Jack, stop! The dunes aren't safe! <laughs> he falls in and he pushes his horse out and his horse makes it. But Jack is falling in 
and he's drowning. Lucky, of course, since this is like the thing she does in almost every season. She is going to save his life. She dove into the sand dunes and re rescuing Jack. She saved Jack's life and Jack is thankful for it. And Jack and Lucky become friends. And that's the episode. Episode four, the nays have it all. So, Prue, Lucky, and Abigail are in the stable when they see the buds. The buds? If it isn't Lucky Prescott and her pals, Phoebe, Ursula, Daphne. Whoa, you know each other? It turns out the buds go to Palomino Bluffs too. Right away, they are not getting along. If you'll stay out of our way, then we'll stay out of yours. Then, BB and Lucky both run against each other for student council. What would you do if you were on student council, Sienna? You know how at zoos they have like petting zoos inside of the zoo? I would want to make sure that there was a small petting zoo with like puppies and kittens and chickens. <laughs> And, oh my gosh. and the other animals. One of us must drop out. Couldn't agree more. And it, and should, it should be, be you. you. <gasps> Bibi and Lucky challenge a race against each other. The person who loses has to drop out of the competition. On your mark, get set, go! And right at the end of the race, before one of them won, there was a tree. Bibi is talking about, oh, like, oh no, I didn't know that that tree was there. I should take note of it. Somebody could get hurt. And Lucky realizes that she was, she would be a really good rep because of that. So she drops out and and lets Bibi win. My fellow fools, I thank you and I accept the nomination. Yeah! And that's the episode. Episode five. A rider's balance. The pals meet dressage champions, Sahir and Priya. Prue is obsessed with them. Do you also perform dressage? No. I mean, yes, but not like you two. I wish. <laughs> and now, Prue starts ignoring the pals and starts doing dressage way too much. So much that she hurts herself and doesn't want to tell anyone. Ouch! Prue! Are you okay? I'm fine. Just a minor scrape. It looks pretty bruised. You need to take some time off, Prue. I'm fine. You're not fine. Meanwhile, Lucky wants to put on a full Canter House Social, which is a party where everyone gets to know each other. The Canter House Social is going well, and the beach bonfire is a hit, except Prue forgot to clear the brush near the cliff. and the pals have to put it out before it reaches the school. We need more sand! Keep going, pal! It's worth hitting, Spirit! Come on down! This is all my fault. Prue realizes that she's been practicing way too much. But Priya and Sahir mentioned that going out with pals and relaxing is practicing for her. We practice all the time because that's what works for us. You need to find what works for you. I think you were doing better when you weren't focused just on dressage. You're right. I lost my balance. And that's the episode. Episode six, Welcome Back Otter. The episode starts with Lucky wanting to get a great picture of the pals for her memory book. But the pals are having trouble finding the perfect spot to take it. Then, during the class, they meet the school of veterinarian and go to the beach. Once the new dock is completed, we'll be able to go beyond the break and into the deep ocean. Abigail finds an otter that the veterinarian thinks should be taken to the zoo, but Abigail thinks that it should be released back into the wild. 
It's sad, but he'll be safe and happy with the otters at the zoo. <sighs> Abigail decides to steal the otter and let him back into the ocean. But then a storm breaks out, and Abigail gets trapped on a plank of wood with Otis. Hop in the water, and we'll pull you out. <gasps> the current is too strong for me to swim. Everything that goes in gets sucked out to sea. Prue and Lucky have to rescue her. <gasps> Prue, I'm going to throw you something. Tie the rope around it and throw it back to me. Abigail throws the rock to Prue, and Prue ties it around a rope. Then, she throws it into the water. The otter catches it and brings it to Abigail. Abigail ties it around her waist, and they are able to pull her back to shore. <laughs> I'm okay. Finally, the veterinarian does get a little mad, but she says that same thing happened when she was young. I'm no stranger to rescuing animals but you need to pick and choose rescue missions wisely. You can't save animals if you need to be saved. The episode ends with the pals, the horses, and Otis all taking a picture on the beach. <laughs> Episode 7, The Palomino Family Affair. The pals are super excited because it's family weekend at the Riding Academy. So all the families are coming to visit for the weekend. When everybody shows up at the train station, the pals are so surprised that Maricela and Mystery came too. I heard it was family weekend at your little horse school. But you're not family. <laughs> They're more than family. We're the Palms. Lucky is even more surprised when she finds out that her dad and Bibi's dad are best friends. This is my old friend, Jim Prescott. Turns out our dads are friends from college. Fun coincidence, huh? Hey, here's an idea. We can attend all the festivities together. Now Lucky and Bibi need to pretend to be friends so they don't disappoint their dads. But finally, she gets really tired of it. After this, we're splitting up. Hey, Dad, Mr. Prescott, Lucky thinks we should meet up for the pancake breakfast and then build wagons tomorrow. Great idea, Lucky. Once they're done, the dads want to race them. They're racing their wagons down a super steep hill. Go! <laughs> are about to go off a cliff, but Lucky saves him. But she finds out that Bibi's dad is always controlling her life, and Lucky has to teach Bibi how to communicate with her dad. Tell him what you told me about the ship shape stuff. Dad, I don't need you to check my room anymore or my schedule. We'll give you two a moment. Come on, Lucky. And that makes it better. So they end up having a great weekend with their dads. And at the end, they realize that Mystery has a crush on Spirit. Marisol, you said Mystery's been happier since she's been here. Do you think maybe it's because she has a crush on Spirit? I thought that Mystery having a crush on Spirit was actually really cool because none of the horse have romance and finally some of them do. Then Maricela and every one of the pals and as Maricela says, the palms, they end up not wanting to split up spirit and mystery. So Maricela ends up staying at Palomino Club. And that's the end of the whole season. All right, Lizzie, it's time to play. Best Romance. Ooh! So you and I are gonna pick the best romance in Spirit Riding Free. Okay, there's Jim Prescott and Kate Flores. Ooh, there's also Maricela and Turo. And there's Lucky and Javier. But also there's Bianca and Snips. Oh yeah! Yeah, I think it would have to be Bianca and Snips. And Snips. Because that one is just hilarious. I feel like we've got to give funniest to Bianca and Snips 
and most romantic to Lucky and Javier. Their kiss on New Year's? Ooh! <laughs> Happy New Year.